dear creatives welcome back to class i'm so excited to have you my name is adeola and i'm the founder of the alert by ruby brand and today in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to make a beautiful headpiece using crinoline tubes so if this is your first time of joining in or you're just hitting or probably seeing this channel for the first time i would like you to hit the subscribe button because you don't want to miss out on all the goodies that we have to offer on this channel now as you already know i love to create beautiful pieces ranging from turbans gilly headpieces name it anything that has to do with headwear so you're good to go when it comes to your headwear needs because i'm here for you so in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to make a headpiece like i mentioned before and in front of me i have the materials that i'm going to be using to teach you i'm just going to be coming up with this design concept and i'm going to be making flowers with my crinoline tubes and these are the crinoline tubes right here and i have some leftover um vines right here that i used for a previous project i'll be using it as my embellishment i have my silver trimming i have my headband the metallic one and i have my wire cutter which i'm going to be using to cut out the millinery wire and i have my uhu glue right here to glue some pieces together i have elastic and then i have petals now i've had a picture in my mind already the way i want this to look like and this is why I'm taking you on a journey so you can see the way I'm going to start and finish this headpiece. So just stay with me. And for those of you who like to skip, skip and skip, hey, don't do that. There's something you might probably miss and I wouldn't like you to ask me a question that I've already answered in this video. So I'll need you to be patient and watch till the end. So let's start from the very beginning, which is creating my petals. So I'm going to be needing three pieces for the big petals and three pieces of wire for the small petals. So for the big petals, I'm going to measure the length for you to see how it looks like. So you can know the measurement. This is 17 inches. And the millinery wire is the soft one and ensure that it's flexible, right? So this is what I have right here. And you will need your UHU and then just one line of thread to be able to tie the bottom of your um, tube crinoline so i insert my wire into the crinoline tube just insert it till you get to the end or to the bottom point it makes it easier because i tried one because i said i needed three pieces i tried one before and i bent or i curved or let me use i tried to shape my wire into a flurry shape or a flurry petal before inserting the crinoline tube and it wasn't working it was a little bit difficult so i prefer to use this method which is insert your tube into the wire first of all and then you tie the bottom before you tie, ensure to apply your UHU glue just a little at the tip right there. And then you bind. After binding, you cut off the excess thread just like that. Quite easy and simple. Anybody can try this out. So you stretch the crinoline over the wire, hold it steady, and then when you get to the other tip of the wire, you apply your UHU and then you tie the same way you did for the other tip right there. But hold your wire and your crinoline steady. Ensure that you pull it to have a stretch, just like what I have done, like this, and then I'll tie this. So after tying this, move to the part where we create our petals because it's, the flower we're making is a combination of the petals.
So after proceeding with the longer sizes, I'm going to cover these shorter sizes with the tubular crinoline. And each of these, remember I told you three big ones, three small um, petals. So this one here is 12 inches, 12 inches long. Don't forget the first one was um, 17 inches. So 12 inches into three places and I'm going to repeat the process. I'll cover with the crinoline tube and then I would come back so that we can start creating our petals. So I'm done wrapping up the smaller wire sizes and this is the big size and from the big size I created this petal right here and that is what I'm going to show you how to do shortly. So I'm going to fold it into two equal halves and I'm going to press on the center like this. If you want you can leave it like this, it's still going to come out looking fine of course but I want something different. I'm going to press in the center like this to have like a love shape and then I fold or let me just say bend rather I bend it then I have this that's two I repeat the process for the third one I fold and then I bend the middle right there then I bend the bottom part that's three that's for the bigger size then for the smaller size I'm just going to fold them like this and bend so I have something like this okay great I repeat the process for the other two I fold and then I bend. I fold and then I bend. Now let's put all these pieces together. So to put the pieces together I'm going to start with the bigger sizes, the bigger petal size and then I put them together like this. That's two and then the third one comes to the side can you see great so i'm going to tie i'll bind this really really tightly or if you don't want to do it like double work let me put it like that you can just place this one because this smaller one right here i want it to be in the middle Hold on, let's start with the smaller size so that I can bind everything together at once. So this is two and then this is three. I hold it really tightly because as you can see the wire is trying to force itself out. So I need to really really hold it down. And this actually I'm having I'm feeling pain in my fingers and I I think it's because of the wire. It's the the soft millinery wire but it's not that jewelry type of wire it's the type that you put on the brim of your fascinator hat so i bind this together very tightly and then i tie so i can have my petals in one piece and insert it into the bigger petal so that's what i'm trying to do right here so i tie very well and then cut out the excess so I can arrange this as I like great so I'm going to go back to how I started put them together that's two and then the third one comes like this I arrange them side by side the way I want them to be and I'm going to insert this in the middle great can you see so the next thing is to bind everything together so 
So can you see how it looks so beautiful? And now I'm going to attach my stems. I'm going to put them in the center. Usually I'm supposed to have done this while I was binding the, um, what's it called? The smaller petals together, but it's all good. I can still put this together by just binding it. And the good thing is this wire is, the wire that I used to create the um, vine is flexible. So as I'm tying it on the side, I can bend it into the, the bunch of flowers that I have already created. So I will tie this down very tightly. Can you see how it looks? So I can shift it to the center. Okay, I think I need to tie that down some more. I'm using my strength right here to tie down because I don't want any issues at all. So this is it. I really like the outcome, the way it's stretching above. Ooh, so nice. And you can use this to embellish your turbans as well. You can just do anything with it. So I'll tie my thread right there so since this was not planned like i didn't plan to use this for flower stamen so i have bits at the bottom here but i'll just leave it the way it is if i'm to create this particular cement for this purpose i would not put the beads on the parts that i'm going to be binding so just take note of that so i'm done tying i'm just going to tie my thread and cut the excess off the bottom of this flower so here we go can you see how it looks really beautiful so let's go to the headband part so i have my leftover of the tube crinoline and i'm going to insert it into the headband now please note i don't have enough um what's it called <laughs> tube crinoline left i don't have left. that's why you see that it's stopping right here in the middle but it's all good i'm still going to use it like that and then finish up the edges with my trimming right here i just want to show you that you can actually use your tube crinoline to encase your alice band in case if it is not the same color of your headpiece so i'm going to um pull it down to the point where it can get to just ensuring that the two of them are staying on the same part and i'm going to tie right here don't forget to apply your glue whenever you are tying it helps your thread stay in place so after time let me quickly do that i just want to show you one side and i'll do the other one behind the scene but basically this is what you're going to do you're going to tie it like this all the way down So when you're done tying, I cut the excess thread. I'll repeat the same process here. So you see how it looks like? Beautiful. So um, I used my lighter to burn the edges right here so that I can lock in the phrase of the tubular crinoline. And before I finally wrap this open part with my trimming, I'm going to attach my elastic. My elastic here is, um, let me measure, let me measure, um, 8.5 inches long and I'm going to apply my glue to put it at the back so that it can be like a strap to hold, to hold my um, headpiece to my head because sometimes whatever it is that you might be putting on this headband might be a little bit heavy and you don't want it falling off whenever you bend. So I'm going to wait a little while for it to dry and then I will just apply this on top like so. So let's just hold on a little. So I've glued it down. Now it's time for me to wrap. So I'll just apply my UHU to the part where I want to wrap like this.
and then I just wrap. Make sure you do it as neatly as you can and as tightly as you can. So when you're done wrapping this part, you repeat the process for the other side and then you're done with your headband. So after wrapping this part, the next part is where I'm going to attach my flowers to this headband right here. So here you go. Can you see that? Great. So the next thing and the final part is to attach this to your headband right here. And I'm going to be doing that with my thread, my thread in four lines. So I will just tie it down and tie it really tightly. Now, before I do the final covering, I'm going to cover this part using my pet house. My Alice band or my headband is facing front and my embellishment is facing side. Now it's time for me to adjust it so that the embellishment or the flower on top can face forward. done for today's class i hope you enjoyed yourself as much as i did thank you so much for joining in if you're interested in any of our paid classes please feel free to reach out to the whatsapp number on your screen or you want to become a distributor or wholesaler you want to start the headwear business and you don't know how to go about it we can produce for you and then you just sell to your customers so thank you so much for joining in my name is adela once again i look forward to I'm seeing you in another tutorial. Thank you so much for joining in. It's a wrap for now. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell to be first to get notification whenever I release a um, new tutorial. Thank you so much. I love you. See you.